Hey, welcome to Zero Sum Studio. I'm your host, Zero, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Free League's Blade Runner tabletop role playing game. Something that I backed on Kickstarter feels like forever ago, but it was, I think, earlier this year. I actually think it was in like, like the spring of this year. Been a long year, I think, for all of us, right? Um, so I backed this and I, I've been super excited about it. So I wanted to unbox it, or it turned up yesterday, and I thought I'd kind of go through it on camera and take a look and see what we got. Um, I'm a I'm a huge huge fan of both uh, Free League and Blade Runner. I am old enough that you know I was 12, 13, something like that when Blade Runner came out. I was a big Harrison Ford fan from you know Han Solo, obviously. And when Blade Runner came out, I was super excited to see it. I had to wait a little bit because it was a I think it was a double A at the time, which meant you had to be 14 to see it. But uh, when I finally got to see it, I just thought it was a magnificent movie. And I've seen over the years all the reruns, or rather the the re edits and the direct director's cut and all the stuff that was cut in and cut out and Dennis, Dennis Villeneuve's uh which I thought was really good the the Blade Runner 2049 anyway big fan of the franchise and equally big fan of Free League I really do think they're kind of the premier uh producer of tabletop role-playing games uh in the market today so um I, as is often the case I back things and then I forget exactly what I backed or exactly what it is but this is a custom set of uh, Blade Runner, the role-playing game dice. Um, four engraved roll base dice designed specifically for the official Blade Runner game. I, I have these four other games by, um, by Free League, right? For Alien and Mutant Year Zero and a couple of others, I think. But I was kind of like it that they have these little, uh, the little uh, packaged up sets of dice. So I think I picked up more stuff from them. Than I remember, which again, it's not. Uh, one day I'll take a picture of my shelfie and throw it up here. It's it's it, me having stuff that I bought that I forgot about is probably unsurprising. So um, looking through this, what did I get here? Um, Shipton by Fun Game Logistics. I, someone mentioned this to me that they saw me doing this in a stream. Not that I have a lot of people that are watching, but someone mentioned it to me that they were glad I wasn't the only one that sniffed their books or sniffed their things, but. I don't know, I, I grew up pretty poor and books, new books always had that magnificent smell about them, right? And it was always kind of, uh, uh, you know, the, the, I don't know, the smell of adventure and the smell of education, the smell of learning and enlightenment. So I'm kind of a sucker for this, but this 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 looks beautiful, right? This is the uh, the core rule book. So this thing just, just absolutely looks magnificent. It opens up with a map of uh, central LA. Again, I'm a weirdo, but that thing just smells delightful. It really does smell beautiful. And then it seems to be a very similar layout, something I've come to expect from, uh, which I actually like, but something I've come to expect from Free League, just their layout. This looks very much like the Alien game. It looks very much like Twilight 2000, some of their other stuff. So obviously I'm not going to go through this page by page, but production quality with Free League games is just magnificent. Like I'm so in awe of this company. I've bought a bunch of their products. I don't know if I'm proud or ashamed to admit this, but I've bought a bunch of their products that I'm, I'm pretty sure that i'm just never going to play right and i bought them like out of the loop of vassin and, or tales from the loop i should say and vassin and a couple of others i bought them just because they're such such great games right i mean they just they're, they're so well put together so i i look forward to, to going through this and again something i i th this this would be horrible to have to print out so hopefully if you bought the pdf version they have a, a printer friendly version modifius do that with their star trek stuff got no idea if i'm saying that word right uh, but they do with their Star Trek stuff where they have this this very high production quality stuff that they then say, and if you want to print it, it's stuff without all the black in it. But this looks great, right? I mean, here's the the different characters. Um, again, combat chases. I mean, I'll, I'll go through this, I'll read it, and I'll, I'll have a little review of it. But certainly on first blanche or on first pass, this looks wonderful, right? I mean, this is just, again, high high quality production, fantastic illustrations that look like they, and they may well be, but they look like they're direct out of the movie, right? And so I, I don't know if this is a, a screenshots or artwork or what, but this this just looks beautiful. How to work the case. Now, I'm kind of curious. Like, I mean, Blade Runner isn't necessarily something that... By the way, I am a sucker for, for um, IP'd tabletop role-playing games, right? I mean, if it ties into a movie or, or something else, then I'm, I'm so much more interested in reading about it or reading it Similarly to, to find out more about the world, right? Which is often the thing. So Blade Runner, I, you know, I'm not, I, I played Call of Thulu a bunch when I was younger, when I was in my teens. And I always thought that was a fantastic game. But I, I've always struggled a little bit with investigations games, right? I, I never really know 
I, I don't know that I have the right mentality or the right uh, GM abilities or whatever it is, but I've always struggled a little bit with investigation games, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the role-playing, what rather the Blade Runner, um, how they approach it, right? Because the license itself, if you read some of the comics, I mean, there's kind of more latitude there, but certainly as you look at the, the, the movies, the original source material, it's very much like a you know, noir, right? Kind of one person, kind of like the thoughts in their head and them investigating something. So we'll be interested to see how this translates into a game. Um, this is the, the GM screen by the looks of it. Which again, the height, what can I tell you? The, 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 the production quality on this is, I mean, I kind of feel like this might feel a bullet. I certainly feel like a replicant could hit me with this and I'd be able to bounce it off. But this again, just, it looks like what you'd expect. It's kind of small, actually, for a GM screen. I don't necessarily mean physically, but the amount of actions or the amount of information they've crammed into this seems relatively small. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, and that's probably indicative of something to do with the game. But anyway, I look forward to kind of look through on that. And then the starter set. I, I This isn't the first time that I bought something from Free League where I'm like, oh, let me buy the cool rule book, and then I buy the starter set, and I get the starter set, and I can't quite remember why I thought it was a good idea to buy both the rule book and the uh, the quick start but let me take a look and see what's in here Let's see if I can get it open so some more dice which is um, interesting so it comes with dice in the starter set and I bought some dice so maybe redundant but I have a nice little package I can stick on the shelf somewhere because uh, again my shelf is everything and then some player cards, I'm not, or actually some cards. I mean, this might be like other the other games from there where it's just easy handouts, right, to be used in games. So I'll open those and look through them. And then, um, oh, this is lovely. I remember now I did buy this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's, there's the rules, which I, I very much appreciate these kind of condensed down versions of the rules, right? I mean, this is probably a quarter or maybe a third of the size of the core rule book, but uh, it's going to have everything in there based on other games. It's going to have everything that you need to get going. Case files number one. So Electric Dreams. I remember why I bought this now. So um, this looks magnificent. And again, I know I'm being a weirdo, but the smell on that is just glorious. Um, this looks beautiful. Again, I'll look through it. Uh, you know, adventures, modules that are written by the manufacturers, I often find a really good way to get to know the game. It's not necessarily the adventure I would run or the game I would want to run, but all too often it just feels like they've, and I've done this myself as I'm building out game systems, uh, it's an adventure that is designed to get somebody into the game. So I go back to what I said about the high quality of this. This is just lovely. So I have an envelope here. <laughs> just really, I know it's going to be a dumb thing to say, but as a total nerd, this is a really good quality envelope. I like this envelope a lot. Um, Ah, this is really beautiful. So clues to give out, right? I, I, I remember the old days when I used to play in, in person with people. Um, but I, I love these kind of handouts. I used to play, again, dating myself here a little bit, but I used to play the James Bond role-playing game back in the uh, back in the 80s. I think it was Victory Games. And I was a teenager at the time, and I used to make handouts. And you know, I remember going on holiday somewhere to a foreign country, I think Greece, and they had these little shampoo bottles, and I'd never seen anything like them before, and I brought them back, and it was a chemical for the game, and it was like being manufactured by some kind of magnate. Some, some, anyway, neither here nor there. This is lovely. These handouts are handout L, Blade Runner RPG starter set. So a bunch of handouts. That, again, just that's awesome that you've got these these kind of tactile physical things to share with the players particularly in an investigation game where you can hand a clue to them and they can digest it and pass it around the table <clears throat> this also came with i got the first key yesterday or the day before maybe for um for the foundry right they're also on roll 20 so i'm guessing i, I know I, I i got the core rule book and the starter set on both roll 20 and, and foundry so I'm guessing I get all these handouts in there to share with the players. Obviously, it's not the same as being able to hand it out. But I'm going to say it again. This is just fantastic. I'm not even entirely sure what all these handouts are for. But there you go. Uh, a, a supposed newspaper. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this thing is really cool. Don't tell me this doesn't look cool and appealing. This is why I buy the starter sets. Then Massacre on Nightclub Row, competitions, some handouts, magazines. I'm just going to say it again. This is just phenomenal to quality. Another reason I love Kickstarters, right? I mean, 
excuse me, you get an opportunity to almost like do market testing in one go, right? Like what will your players pay for if you produce all this stuff, which is, again, really high-end stuff that I wouldn't really expect to come from a game. But you put it all in the starter set and you see how many people want to buy it. This is amazing. So these are the character sheets. It's funny, this this is really high quality printing, but just the way it's designed, it makes it feel like it's photocopied. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad, but character sheets, some notes, some, uh, some what is that, a case file time tracker? Oh, interesting. And then just more maps and stuff. This is, again, the, the quality of this stuff, Apartment 52, the Hollywood sign. I am genuinely excited to look through this and figure out how this all this works. Double-handed fold-outs. The map of LA. I remember. I remember reading about this at the time and wondering what this would look like when it came through. I'm not going to be able to get it on my desk camera. I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to get it up fully here. But this map, this map is lovely. And everything's lovely, right? I and mean, it's got that high tech feel to it. It looks like the electric grid and the roads. But this is truly awesome. This is truly awesome. So uh, there you have it, right? Again, I, I don't really have much for it. I had the joy. It's a little bit like watching somebody else on Christmas Day watching an unboxing, isn't it? You know, you get to unbox it and you get to see how much fun I'm having looking at this. But what I will say is that this, my first impressions of this are typical free league. This is just, this is beautiful. This is magnificent. This is just lovely. I really never regret ever buying a free league uh, game. I think the only thing I ever regret about free league is how little time I actually have to play their awesome quality products. So that's it. I, I hope to read and digest this and come back to you with a little bit more in depth rather than just me doing some weird page sniffing as I look at uh, this kind of this new Kickstarter. But thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate the people who have been tuning in and I appreciate the likes and the ups and the shares and everything that's going on. It's just very rewarding. So thank you all. See you on the next stream. Bye.